Happy Friday, October 11th, 2024, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. We're going to be diving into the weather pattern over the next one to two weeks and show you what you can expect across North America in today's weather forecast. Before we get to that, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below so you are updated on the latest weather information right at your fingertips with any videos and live streams that we do and any outlooks that we do. Make sure to press the like button. It's the thumbs up button down below and leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. And of course, we'll get to those after the video. So let's look first here at the GOES satellite imagery. And we are seeing some quiet weather, thankfully, across the southeast here in the wake of Milton. And the remnants of Milton are way over here. To see this big blob in the western Atlantic? That is moving away from North America. We do have some cloud cover, though, across the Pacific Northwest and across western Canada. And that will keep our temperatures a little bit cooler today. And here is a another confirmation that we're finally starting to see some subsidence, some drier air moving into the Sunshine State here, the sun poking out here, and you know, it is called the Sunshine State after all, so that is some good news as we go through this Friday. Let's look at our temperatures. This morning, we are seeing some cool air from the mid-Atlantic down into the Carolinas and parts of coastal Georgia there. Temperatures that are 20 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of year this morning. Warmer air, though, to start the day across the upper Midwest, down into the Central Plains and westbound toward the western U.S. And here are your low temperatures waking up this morning. We have a cool pocket of air up into southwestern Canada, some frosts and freezes up there with uh, starting uh, low temperatures in the 20s and 30s, some 40s further south into the Pacific Northwest. But you can see the Appalachians. If you're in the higher elevations there from Pennsylvania down here into West Virginia and into Western Virginia, we could be into the 30s and low 40s to start here for your Friday. And looking at the afternoon, some of that cooler air will stick around from coastal Virginia down into the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida. But look at the warmer air, kind of an Indian summer setup from Chicago back here into Des Moines, Kansas City, and all the way back into the Amarillo area. Those areas will be 30 to 35 degrees above the norm for this time of year once we get into the afternoon. And here are your afternoon highs today. Chicago, you know, we're going to be pushing 80 degrees. We're at 78 this afternoon right on the lakefront there, 77 further north into Milwaukee on the lakefront, 84 mid-80s there into Des Moines, 86 in Kansas City, and 90 down here into the Oklahoma City area. And even Tulsa could take a run at 90 there at 89 degrees this afternoon. Precipitation, you can just forget about it. There's barely a drop of rain across the United States. Really, southern Canada is pretty dry outside of Ontario and western Quebec. As we go into tonight, you know, it's going to be, again, hard-pressed to see any sort of precipitation across the lower 48 or southern Canada. The more concentrated precipitation will be in eastern Canada, Quebec, and over here toward Newfoundland as we go in towards tonight. You can see the precipitation shows the story here. You can see barely any drops of rain across the United States and southern Canada. The only rain of note will be eastern Ontario and Quebec. And even so, that'll be only around a quarter to half an inch of rain through your Saturday morning time frame. And this is a problem because we haven't seen much rainfall in the month of October. We're already into October 11th, so the first 10 days of the month is pretty dry across the middle of the country here in the Corn Belt. While the farmers probably love it, um, the drought really is starting to expand and intensify across portions of the United States into the Corn Belt region. We have some areas that are into the moderate and severe drought concerns. We have pockets of the red and maroon reds. That's extreme exceptional drought, and you can see numerous pockets of that here. The most widespread over here in Ohio and West Virginia, and then over here into West Texas. That's where we need the real help from the rainfall and any precipitation we can get out there. Heading into the weekend, let's answer that question. Will we get any precipitation? Well, we have a high pressure ridge across the western U.S. We have a low pressure though, a little bit of a trough kind of digging down from the southeastern Canadian provinces down into the Great Lakes region and then the eastern U.S. So that could bring us some cooler air as we go into the weekend, especially for the northeast and then down here toward the southeast. The Indian summer continues from the Ohio Valley southwest bound into the Plains states this weekend. And here are your temperatures tomorrow afternoon. This is Saturday afternoon, October 12th. We're back into the low 90s across North Texas. 
We're into the 80s, into places like Oklahoma City, into the Kansas City area and St. Louis up to 82 Saturday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, some cooler air starts to dive south. That's with that trough coming in. And you can see areas like the Twin Cities up here, Minneapolis, St. Paul, struggling to reach the low 50s. 52 degrees there, Rochester, Minnesota, 52, 55 over into the Rapid City area and 51 and 52 up there into Fargo and Bismarck. So it's going to be pretty cool up to the north, but more 90s further south into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're at 92, 90 in Shreveport, and 86 in the Jackson, Mississippi region Sunday afternoon on October 13th. Precipitation, not much to go around on Saturday. Maybe some moisture up here near the Great Lakes, but that'll be fairly light. As we go into Sunday, more numerous showers trying to cross over Lake Superior down toward Lake Michigan there and Lake Erie and then around the Great Lakes there. That could produce maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain as we go in toward the weekend not that big of a deal and certainly not really putting a dent in the drought. Whereas areas in the central southern plains, the western U.S. remaining dry. So the drought will continue to expand and intensify this weekend. And looking at the snowfall prospects, while we don't have really much to talk about across the United States, up here into Alaska is the, really the only game in town here in the United States, if anything, that could have some snowfall and really the coastal Alaskan regions could be seeing over 60 inches worth of snow that will trickle down into Yukon and into the northwestern part of British Columbia and maybe some snowfall up toward the Arctic Circle as well. We are running a little bit behind on the snow and ice cover up here to the north so it's nice to see some snowfall up in Alaska especially if you're a cold air and snow lover here in the United States you want to lay out that foundation and get some of that snowpack on the ground so some of that colder air can move in. In, especially once we get into November and December. So that is good to start laying out that foundation up there. Looking here at the weather pattern next week, this is from Monday, October 14th through Friday, October 18th. That trough's going to hang out across the coastal portions of New England. We're going to have a ridge continuing. Well, you know, what else across the middle of the country? So, and then we're going to have a low pressure trough again across the Gulf of Alaska and the British Columbia and Yukon up here into the Northeast Pacific. And what that's going to do is bring cooler air to immediate coastal lines there of Alaska and British Columbia and Yukon, but bring also cooler air with that big trough across the east, and then the warmer air, you guessed it, yes, is in the middle of the country as again as we go into that third week of October. Dry weather will persist, though, across most of the eastern U.S. There could be some moisture with that trough, though, across Quebec and over here toward Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and even into parts of New England there. And then we're going to start to see more moisture out west. So the Rockies, the West Coast, but especially like areas of Seattle, Portland, down to the Eugene area, we'll start to see more precipitation. And then on up into Canada, like Vancouver, we could start to see that as well as we go through next week. And it's going to be piling up. Rainfall totals in the Seattle region could be pushing two to four inches. Same thing in western Oregon. And then you could see heavier snows starting to overspread British Columbia, Canada, Yukon, and the Northwest Territories, even parts of the Rockies. He's getting a couple of inches of snow as we go through next week. And then of note, you know, over here into Quebec, the higher elevations, we could be seeing maybe a foot or so of snow as well into eastern Canada throughout next week. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below for the latest weather information right at your fingertips. We'll keep you covered here all across the United States, Canada, and Mexico, and North America on the channel. Make sure to press the like button down below. It's the thumbs up button. And also leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. We'll always get to those later on after the video. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Friday out there.